Hi everybody, I'm Joanna Vargas, founder of Joanna Vargas Skincare. We are in my New York City salon and I am about to give my client an oxygen purifying facial. First, I am going to start with a skin analysis. Every good deep pore cleanse starts with analyzing the skin, getting familiar with what I'm going to do in terms of extraction today. Next, I'm going to exfoliate her with the diamond peel. There are actual diamonds in the tip of this wand, and I am going to use it to slough off the dead skin cells, surface dirt, and any remaining debris on the surface of her skin so that the products that I use in the treatment can penetrate better. So now her skin is perfectly prepped for extraction. So the whole first half of this facial is to prep for this exact moment. I'm going to extract any clogged pores that she has on her skin. And I've already told her about where I'm going to do the extraction so she's completely prepared and ready. I extract super gently. I don't push too hard on the skin and I don't force the skin to do something that it doesn't want to do. Hopefully once I've steamed and exfoliated you well, the extraction part is super fast and easy. Now that the extractions are complete, I'm gonna select a mask, perfect for her skin type. I have a lot of different sheet masks in my collection, so you can select the one that's right for you, leave it on the skin for as long as you can, and use the extra serum that it comes with to include your neck, your decollete, and even your arms and hands. I like spending a few minutes to carefully place the mask on someone's skin. You want to make sure that the bamboo sheet sits as flat on the face as you can possibly make it so that you get all of that goodness soaking into the skin. While I'm straightening the mask on the skin, I'm also massaging her a tiny bit just so that I can start the process of penetrating the serum into her skin. So now I'm going to bring it down onto her neck, her decollete, and I'm even going to include the arms. Having an opulent amount of serum in each sheet mask is so vital so that you can really address the skin on the whole body. So after at least 20 minutes you can remove the sheet mask and then massage the remaining serum into the skin. A good way of massaging the face at home is to do a nice hand over hand massage. It doesn't have to be aesthetician quality, but you always want to massage the face upward. It increases circulation, it encourages lymphatic drainage, and it'll really help the skin look glowy, contoured, and tight when you're done. Now that I've penetrated the serum from the mask into her skin, the final step of this facial is an oxygen treatment. I love finishing facials with oxygen. Oxygen stimulates collagen production, it reduces inflammation, and it increases circulation. It's really great for after extractions because you can get a little inflamed when you've had a few extractions, especially if something was infected on the skin. So this also kills bacteria while I'm working.